for just before lunch. Richardson went for 24 and the West Indies were 63 for 2. Repeating the scores, the West Indies 4 for 228 at stumps. King Viv reached his 100 in just 56 balls, in an innings which included 6 sixes and 7 fours. On the receiving end were England's bowlers in the fifth and final test in Antigua. With a lead of 164 on the first innings, quick West Indian runs were on the menu. Desmond Haynes provided the appetizer. And when Richardson went for 31, England wished he hadn't. Willow swinging Viv Richards sorted to the crease and dispatched England bowlers everywhere. Spinner Indury had four sixes taken off his bowling, some with a mere flick of the left hand. His 50 off 33 balls. Botham, still trying to break Lily's wicket-taking record, saw a man on his way to one. It was obvious where the fieldsman should be, but still the sixes came. And after a quick sip with the old sparring partner, the hundred followed. For the number of balls faced, 56, the quickest hundred ever in test match history. Richard's home crowd at Antigua celebrated with the master blaster. In England's batsmen again crumbled. Celebrated with the master blaster. In England's batsmen again crumbled, this time to the spin of Roger Harper. He returned the fine figures of three for ten, as England were bundled out for 170. Giving the Indians only 134 runs.